good morning girls in this we are going to see about the basics of graph data structure so first we will see what is graph a graph is a non linear data structure already we have seen trees where it is used for storing non linear data uh, if you see linear data structure stacks queues and um, arrays these are all the uh, linear linked list these are all linear data structures where you can so, uh, store the data in a sequential manner but is here in tree you can store uh, in nodes where they are not in an order that only well you are traversing you you come across the order and in graph also say for example this is a graph an example of a graph now here this is the node and this is the edge okay so the, an example for a graph is you can take this as a graph it looks similar to a tree a tree can be a graph but a graph cannot be a tree the reverse is not possible why in a graph say for example this is a node this has more parents more than one parent say for example this is a parent if you take this as a b as a node then parent can be considered as a a and c also can be considered as a parent and d also can consider as a, the edges which are connected to that so these are all said to be a parent which means b has more than one parent which is not possible in a tree suppose if we take this as a tree actually this is a graph but if we consider this as a tree this is the parent and it has two children whereas the reverse is not possible a don't have more more than one parent so if you take this as a parent it has two children so whereas c is having only one parent and b is also having only one parent whereas if you take this a uh, b has more than one parent it is connected with a it is connected with c it connected with a so all these things can be considered as a parent so if you take this you cannot say which is a parent and which is a child so the concept of parent and child is not here in the graph but it looks similar to a tree so a graph is a non linear data structure you can go from here to here to here or else you can select this and then you can go to e and go you can go to f and so on that is why it is called a non linear data structure there is no sequence of access you can start from anywhere and you can reach anywhere so mathematically a graph can be defined to consist of two things one is the vertex i call this node as vertex okay this is a vertex this is a vertex e f or all vertex and the connection between two vertex is said to be edges so a group of vertices and edges represented as g of v comma e where v is for vertex and e for edges pair of edges so you, you can represent them mathematically as g of v comma e where v is a finite number of vertices and the name you can call it as nodes but here after we call it as vertex and e set of ordered pair what do you mean by ordered pair this is the edge e is nothing but edge edge is nothing but a connecting point connection between one node and another node or one vertex and another vertex the common part that you call it as an edge okay so when how you can represent you can represent as an ordered pair say for example a comma b when you say a comma b which means there is an uh, edge between a and b let us see the representation for this let it is the graph 1 graph 2 and graph 3 so how it can be represented you have to represent it with the g of v comma e where v is nothing but v for this graph 1 is a b c d e f which is given here and then e is nothing but a b that is ordered pair a comma b and then a comma c and then b comma c b comma c and then b comma d and c comma e and then d comma e and then e comma f if you take graph 2 here we have 
these are all the vertices a b c d e f and you can represent the edges to be a comma b a comma c then b comma d c comma e and c comma f if it is graph 3 here we have you can see the difference a direction is there okay here there is no direction so when the direction is there the edge exists between a to b only no b to a whereas if you see this in these two graphs the edges between a to b as well as b to a you can say b to c as well as c to b is also there and if you say a to b and b to a a to c and c to a so both way the since it is not the direction is not given it can have the edges between these two uh, a to b as well as b to a both direction it have the edges whereas here the direction is given so which means when direction is given in which direction is in that that pair only exists so this is this you can say as a starting node and this as the end node that is destination source and destination so a to b only exists the edges b to a is not that so then a to c and then c to b b to c is not that c to a is not that so this is the strict rule so when you take the graph there are basically two types of graph one is directed graph and undirected graph these are undirected graph and this is the directed graph so in the undirected graph the when there is an edge there is a two-way connection as i said a to b and b to a whereas in directed graph given the direction how uh, that is uh, the when the arrow uh, moves away from that node to a particular node then the path the edge existing between this node that is a to b that is source node and destination so a graph can be directed and undirected so let us see the definition of an undirected graph in an undirected graph, edges are not associated with directions. In the previous slide, what we have seen, the graph 1, graph 2, that's what. These two graphs, graph 1 and graph 2, they are undirected graph. If an edge exists between vertex A and B, then the vertices can be traversed from B to A as well as A to B. That's what I said, A to B as well as B to A, when there is no direction. So in this given figure, this is an undirected graph. You can write the vertices to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and edges you can write it as 1, 2, 2 as well as 2, 2, 1. So 1, 2, 2 is given here and 2, 2, 1 is also listed here. 1, 2, 3 and 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3 is given and 3, 2, 1 and so on. So you can just go through here. So here 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 1 and so on. That's why I have given dot dot. So you can write like that. Directed graph, the same graph. When you give the directions, it will be like this. The definite directions are there. Here, a graph consisting of ordered paths of vertices and has direction. It is said to be directed graph. If an edge is represented using a pair of vertices, V1 and V2, that is, for example, if you take this as V1 and this as V2, if there is an edge existing, which means the edge is said to be directed from V1 to V2. But here you can say this is V1 and this is V2 because the path is existing between 2 to 1 1 lane. So we can see how it has been represented. Let us take this is the set of vertices and set of edges is 1 to 3 is there, 1 to 5 here, see 1 to 5 is there and then 2, 2 to 1 is there, 2 to 3 is there, 2 to 4 is there. So what here we have written and then 3 to 4 is there and then 4 to 5 is the not 5 to 4 so this is the representation of a directed graph okay now let us go to the terminology the basic uh, graph terminology uh, while going through the video then and there i'll introduce some more terminology a path a path can be defined as the sequence of nodes that are followed in order to reach some terminal node b from the initial node say for example if you take this 2 to 5. What is the path? 2 to 1 and then 1 to 5. This is said to be path. Okay. Now 2 to 4 and 4 to 5. This is another path. 
which there so there are two path existing between 2 to 5 even another path is also there that is 2 to 1 and then 1 to 3 and then 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 or 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 all are unique so a path can be defined as a sequence of nodes that are followed in order to reach some terminal node if you take the previous slide this is the source and this is the terminal so in this way different ways you can reach provided there is a direction and the, so then only you can say path exists in a directed graph close to path a path will be called as close to path if the initial node is same as the terminal node if both initial node and um, terminal nodes are uh, same then you can say it as a close to path we will see that later as an example i think this we can see this this is a close to path so for example if you take a a to c c to b no this is not a close to path because a to b is that there is no b to a we'll see that example later but if uh, if the graph is like that say for example a to c c to b and b to a that a is the source and destination is also source so in that case you can say this to be a closed path but path is it is not a closed path then so this is the condition v not source is equal to target simple path if all the nodes of the graph are distinct Yes, each and every nodes of the graph are distinct, with an exception. It should not be like this. V not equal to V n. Close to path is where source is equal to destination. But here it should not be that. Then such a path is said to be closed, simple exception. Uh, it's a closed, simple path. Degree of the node. What is the degree of the node? Degree of the node is the number of edges that are connected with that node. So if you say this here. the degree of 1 is 1 2 3 so three um edges are connected with this one vertex if you take this 1 2 3 so again this part is also the degree of the uh, node is 3 and here if you take this 1 2 3 here this is for without uh, when there is no direction but the one with the direction if you take this the degree can be for this to be in degree here this is only one only one is the in degree that is the one which is coming towards the node out there is another concept called out degree where the edges are arising from that node to other nodes so in this case in degree is one out degree is one it is going outwards and here another one so two for this one in degree is one and out degree is two so uh, degree of the node varies for directed and undirected graph in undirected graph uh, for the particular node what are all the edges connected all those things will be called as de uh, degree now the number of edges can be called joining that particular node can be called as degree whereas in a directed graph there are two concept in degree and out degree that we will be seeing uh, in detail loop a loop is a an edge that is associated with the similar end points can be called as loop so for example here there's a single node if the it has the connection like that then you call it as a if the if an edge is drawn from a text to itself is called a loop so here there are two loops so it's a to itself this is also an edge which is drawn towards itself and this is also an zero so like this if exists an edge exists like this then you call it as a loop cycle the cycle can be defined as the path which has no repeated edges or vertices except the first and last so for example if this is the source then a to b you oh, sorry a to c c to b and b to a so here if you take source and destination on the same there is no repeated edges of the so here this can be a cycle same way here it is a cycle and this is also a cycle 
and a simple graph with n vertices where minimum number of n number of vertices should be equal to or more than 3. If there are only two edges, uh, it cannot be that the same uh, edge can be a source and destination. So here then with that it cannot be, it cannot form a cycle. Whereas here for a minimum, uh, for a cycle to form, it must have a minimum of uh, vertices to be 3 or more than that. So here there are 3 edges, 4 edges and 5 edges. If the degree of each vertex in the graph is 2, so in that case also it can be called as a cycle graph. If you take for A, the degree is number of edges joining in that uh, vertices is 2. So and if you take B, minimum is 2. Here also 2. So if you take this for P, there are 2 edges uh, connected with that vertex, which means the degree of P is 2. So if the degree of each vertex each vertex in the graph is 2, then you can call it as a cycle graph. So here also if you see i has two edges connected with that, which means the degree of i is 2. So and so on. So take a look at the following graph. Graph 1 has three vertices, this three vertices, the three edges which is forming a cycle a, b, b, c and c, a. and so on. Some way you can explain the other things also.